Hey there, I'm your host Lasawi, and in today's video, I'll show you how to create a healing spell. So it's going to look like something like this. Your character will be able to cast a spell and heal some health points. So let's begin. First, let's go to our content drawer and find our character. So I'm going to be using BP underscore Brady. That's my character. And inside here, I want to create four variables. So mana first, convert this into a float, max mana second then i want health and i want max health then we can compile and save and before we exit let's change the max health value to 100 uh, we want to begin with 10 so i'll show you how the mana works for max mana i want it to be 100 and mana is also going to be 100 let's compile and save and we can exit this then let's go and create our input action for our spell so input actions and i'm going to create a new input action ia underscore magic and this will be my spell i can save this and then if i go into my imc i can create a new mapping and this will be my magic and i want it to be on the left mouse button so save we can exit and then I want to create my widgets. So I'll create a new folder called UI. And inside this folder, I'm going to create my widgets. So widget blueprint, widget uh, there, WB underscore mana bar. And then I'm going to create my health bar. So in my mana bar, I'm going to create a canvas panel. And then I'll add some, a progress bar. And we can also add a text to this. So for my progress bar, I'll make it 300 long. And I'm going to put it in the bottom right corner, like so. Color is going to be blue-ish, like so. Maybe a bit lighter, like that. And for the background, if I go to style, background image, and tint will be something like that is good for me this actually might be a little bit darker press ok and then for my text i also want to anchor it at the bottom right uh, size to content and for the text block i'm just going to say 66 uh, just for reference and somewhere around there so that's fine for me now what I want to do is select the progress bar. I want to create a binding. And here I'm going to first create a new variable called mana and change this to type float. Compile and save. And I will then cast to Brady because that's my character. PP underscore Brady. So whatever you have could be Steve or Bob. Uh, then get player character. Right. And from our character, we just want to get the variables we created. So that's going to be mana and max mana. And for our health bar, we'll just do the same. Just instead of using mana, we'll use the health. Then we will divide them by each other. And I'm going to connect this into the output. Then if I go back to my designer, select the text. A very similar process, create a new binding. Or that's my bad. Uh, remove binding and create new binding. Inside here, I'm going to cast to Brady once more, bp underscore Brady, get player character. Then from here, I'm going to get my mana and my max mana. And we're going to just clamp this value as a float. Connect like so, then we want to text float. Then format text and break this um, node inside to curly brackets, x and curly brackets. And then connect this value into x and this into the return node. So that's us done with the mana bar. Health bar is very similar. So if I exit this, now I go into my... I can actually duplicate this, so copy, paste. And I can rename this to my health bar just to save us some time in my health bar i'm going to change this to a red color uh, that's fine for me 
and the background is going to be a darker red. Like that's fine. And then for my bindings, so let's go to get percent into this, or actually the graph, and we can find it here. I double click on this. So instead of using mana, we want to use health. So get health and get max health and connect those guys into here. And let's do the same for the text. So instead of using mana, we can get health and get max health. So this is just a shortcut. You don't have to do this all over again. We can copy paste. And that looks fine to me. I can compile. And before I leave, I should put this in the center. So if I select both of them, anchor it in the bottom right, uh, bottom middle, and just drag it. I think that's about right. We can compile and save. Exit this now. And let's go into our player. So inside Brady, we want to create a sequence after the begin play. So hold down S and press left mouse button. And in this sequence, uh, zero goes to our old code and one will go to our new code. So here I want to, to create a widget and this widget will be my mana widget. So from here, I want to promote this to variable. So mana ref and then we can do set and mana and we can do max mana. And then we can add this to the viewport. Add to viewport. Uh, one thing I forgot actually in my health uh, bar, I forgot to change the in the graph the percentage. This should be called health. Rename. This will be setting the health, not the mana. So just so we know what, which one's which. Go back to the character and then we can do create widget. Let's get our health bar this time. We can do the same promote to variable called health ref. We can set our health. And then our health is going to be our regular health, not the, not the max health, because we want to start off 10. So we'll be able to heal the player. And then we want to add to viewport like so and that looks about right we can compile and save and let's go create our magic spell so i'll create a new folder called magic and inside here i'm going to create a blueprint class actor called dub, uh, bp underscore healing spell once we are inside of our healing spell, we want to add some particles, but we don't have any. So fortunately for us, we can go to the Epic Games Store and download some effects. For this project, I'm going to use the FX Variety Pack. You can download it for free on the Epic Games Store. I'm going to add this to my project and I'll see you back in Unreal. Once your pack has downloaded, you should be able to see it in your content browser. So if I go to my Variety Pack, if I go to particles, we can see all the particles that are available to us. So inside of our healing spell actor, let's add a particle effect called cascade particle system. And I'm going to call this a healing spell. And for our uh, template, we can select what we want. So I'm going to select the water ball. And for then we want to add some projectile movement. So projectile movement and the gravity is going to be 0 0.1. And for initial speed, I'll say 250 and maximum speed 500. So let's compile and save. Then we need an animation for our magic spell. So let's go to Mixamo. Here, I'm going to use this animation. I already have it downloaded. But if you don't, download something you like, and I'll see you back in Unreal. Once you are back in Unreal, go to your content drawer, and let's get the file. So magic heal, and select your skeleton of your character. Import all. Then we want to right-click on this and create a, a montage. So save both of them, 
and go inside of your animation montage and find a area where you want your spell to cast. So for me, it's going to be somewhere around here and be happy with this. Right click on notifies over here and create a montage notify. We don't have to name it. We can simply save and exit from here. Then back inside of our character, let's go to the viewport. And here we want to switch to use animation asset. And the asset we're going to be using is the animation montage we just created. So magical heal. We want to stop playing this and we want to set this to about 0.8. That's where he's beginning to cast. And in this position, I'm going to deselect everything and add a arrow. So this arrow will serve as our casting sp uh, spot. So I'm going to rotate this out there. And for me, this will be just about fine in this position here. So once you've decided the position you want your arrow to be, we can simply uh, click back on the character, reverse this, reverse this, and go back into our use animation blueprint. Compile and save. Inside of my player in the event graph, I want to create a custom event called cast spell. From here, I'm going to play montage. And the montage we're going to play will be the magical montage we created. And then the skeletal mesh is going to be our character mesh. Connect that like so. And on notify begin, which we created in the montage, we're going to spawn actor from class so this will be the point at which our sp uh, healing spell is uh, spawning this will be our healing spell there we go and the location this is going to spawn at will be at the arrow so get the arrow then do get world transform and if we connect that that's this now we want to get an input action to be uh, able to play the spell so IA underscore magic, that's what we created at the very beginning. And on started, we're going to cast spell. So we're calling the function we created. And if I compile and save, I should be able to test this. So the spell is working, but we're not casting anything and the spell is uh, continuing to go. So to fix this, uh, let's go back into our character. After the spawn actor, we want to do destroy actor and we want to get a delay before that so delay then destroy actor and simply connect the return value into the destroy actor and the duration of the spell depends on you but i'm going to have it for two seconds now let's create the mana drain so custom event called mana drain this will allow us to use the magicka for our spell let's get our mana minus the cost of the spell so you can actually create a new variable for this and let's call it healing cost and it's going to be a float and the actual value of this depends on you again i'm going to say 20. so mana minus the healing cost is going to be the outcome so then let's get our set mana set and before we do that let's clamp this value so it doesn't go below zero or a hundred get your max mana and then connect this like so so this will be our mana drain and then let's get our healing so create another custom event called health regen and here let's get our health and add whatever value you want so i'm going to add 25 health points per healing and then let's get our health again set this here we can also clamp this value so let's clamp float and then our max health and there we go that's our healing so uh, health regeneration and we have our mana drain then let's connect this to our spell so we can call these functions inside of here 
So here I'll be doing mana drain. And I also want my health regen. Like so. Push this a little bit back so it's not in the way. Connect it. And we can test this, but we'll need to do one more thing. Because we don't have a boolean to see if we have mana or we don't. So as you can see, uh, health's regenerating. But if we go over the limit, our player will still cast even though we don't have any magicka left. So let's fix this. Back inside of my character in the event graph, I'm going to create a new variable called can cast, and this will be a boolean. Then let's create a custom event called check can cast, and in this, I want to get my mana, and I want to get my healing cost, and if this value is greater to or equal to uh, the healing cost, we're going to get our boolean and set it to be true. Connect this like so, and we can comment this code called check can cast. Then, just for a shortcut, let's get the mana healing cost and the greater or equal to. Paste it here and get a branch. From the cast spell, we're going to put it here. And if these conditions are true, then the animation is going to carry out. But before um, everything works, let's get our on the event to begin play. Let's get our function. So at the very end, I'm going to get check and cast. And if we compile and save, everything should work perfectly. So if I try to cast a spell, it goes up. And if we run out of magicka, our player should no longer be able to cast. So there you go, guys. Everything works as it should. I hope the video was easy enough to follow. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.